Hi, Days fans. It's Monday, August 16th, and we're going to talk about today's episode. And I am wearing my mate shirt because... Dusted that thing off, huh? Yeah. I am loving, loving me. I know you guys know this. And this is all going to start spiraling into action soon. We have Stephanie acting amazing. Totally. I love her scenes. Being all... Hair extensions look good. Yeah. Crazy rogue, um, you know, off Sammy the and training. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, she plays a good crazy. I mean, she's. I like that so much better. I mean, I thought she did a good job playing the, uh, you know, better second choice and all that. But this is more fun. She's not really. I might be going out on a limb here, hurting anyone like Sammy did when she was like switching cancer test results oh, and things yeah. like that. She's just, well, I guess she could be hurting some No, so. she's giving everyone what they want. Yeah. Philip and Chloe and Daniel all want this to end up being Daniel's baby, and she's just going to make it so that happens. The only people that are getting hurt are Nathan and Melanie because they could be together in a heartbeat if they knew. But if this baby is Philip's, she's going to make it look like it's Daniel's, and mm -hmm. that's pretty bad. Yeah. So. And Philip has told Chloe, I will help you raise this baby. Yeah, that's that's a pretty serious commitment. We'll yeah. raise this baby together, like I did with Pocket. Yeah. And oh, they're, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're having a nice little chat about how they're going to, you know, go to Babies R Us and register. <laughs> and in walks Nathan, like, what's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> and if Chloe says one more time how she's so sad about Hope, if I have ever seen her in a scene with Hope, I don't remember it. Not ever, not once, no. So, no. not buying that crap. So, lots of make-out scenes. Sammy, EJ, finally prolonged yeah. locking lips. Yeah, they were having a good time there. Well, she was thinking about Rafe, that's why. Oh, God. Click. <laughs> Honey, you don't, you don't ever do that, do you? What? You don't think about other girls. No. Oh, no, that would be wrong. And then, um, that was a pretty good scene by James Scott when they went to the, uh, Brady Pub and Caroline and Roman are like, have you lost your mind? You have definitely lost your mind. And Caroline's all like, Sammy, if you have to tell us something, does it have to be in front of him? <laughs> I mean, what happened to Caroline? They decided somewhere over the summer that they were going to totally change her character and turn her into this feisty feisty, over-the-top, say what she wants, no manners. It's I mean, be because of Victor that she's all, like, pissed off at the world. I know, but she didn't used to act like that. I mean, she used to say what she felt, but I mean, she's got a little out there. Did anybody, did anybody out there forget that EJ is still a drug dealer? Yeah, I did. Mm. When, when's the last time Oh, yeah, he's gone all drugs? good. He runs the business in Salem. He bought it from Victor. Honey, that's just going to come out that somehow he wanted to make the street safer for Sydney and Johnny, and so he bought the business and buried it or dismantled it or oh, something. Okay. They'll fix that. Mm. Really. Um, you know what other scenes I like? Will. Will and, oh, yeah. and uh, Sammy and... Uh, oh, yeah. Will gets uh, some really good one-liners. It's yeah. like, oh my God, so this train wreck is really going to happen. <laughs> and, you know, those scenes with him and Stefano They're were precious. so sweet and tender. And I'm telling you, I'm starting to really buy that um, uh, Chad, I think Chad's going to be the grandchild somehow, either via Kate or Stefano. It's making more sense that it would be Stefano, but some people have some crazy ideas that maybe it's Lucas. Like when, you know how when Bill came back for the funeral, Kate and him had kind of a moment? Oh, very good moment, yeah. Like if if they could be grandparenting together, like say he came back, because mm -hmm. everybody loved him. I do too, I do too. Say he came back and, and um, you know, Lucas isn't coming back, obviously. And uh, they kind of raised... Chad, not raised, but you know, took him under their wing together. And meanwhile, Stefano's got uh, Will under his wing. You know, it could kind of be this interesting dynamic. Like, they could be like cousins, step cousins or something. Is it a secret that Kate already knew and doesn't want Stefano to know? Or was it a, a reveal to Kate also when she saw that 
It was a reveal to Kate. So unlikely that it's her yeah, child. Yeah, because she seems like she's trying to keep this a secret from Stefano. And she found out something and doesn't want Stefano to know. Is there any way Emily and Lucas could have had a baby together? Rafe's ex? Yeah. The one he killed? And so she's keeping this a secret because she knows that Stefano was involved with Emily's death. God, I'm really grasping at straws to yeah, get Emily you are. back. You are. I want Emily back. I I don't even know. I, you know, they could have freaking gotten that Maura Westmore or whatever to play Emily. I'll be damned if I don't think we got one of those um, as the world stars coming to our show. Where did that Tyler Blackburn come from? He was the long Ian, hair. Ian, yeah. Yeah. Is he going to be a regular? I thought I saw some good stuff on him on the internet. The hacker. Yeah. Let's move on to move on to our next makeout scene. Ooh. Brady and Nicole. That was a good one. She looked it looked real to me. She looked happy. I'm telling you how many well, if it had been the old Brady, she'd have been even happier. How many You don't know that. <laughs> oh, that's not nice, J D. How many times did Ariana say to Brady? that Nicole is like a drug to you, and he would get so mad every freaking time. And now he says to her, well, I can sleep with you now, and that will get me through till morning, and then what? And, you know, I would have said anything to you just to get you in bed that day. I mean, out, out, out. And uh, if he says one more time, oh, drinking's not my problem. Yeah, you don't see any buddy. white powder going on my nose. Yeah, you're protesting a little too loudly. He does seem to be handling it pretty well, and no one's freaking out. How come Maggie hasn't got the uh, the nine? Yeah, you know, on this uh, little. She's gonna flip her lid when she finds out, and you know, as soon as Melanie sees her, she's gonna tell. Yeah. But I mean, he's drinking it for Nicole, Philip, Victor, Chloe. Melanie. Yeah. Was Chloe there? Was, no, Ariana. Uh, Victor. Did, Did you say Victor? Victor? Oh, okay. Listen. Sorry, there's a lot of names flying around. So, Rafe has an interesting new ally. Victor. Mm-hmm. And you are hoping that Rafe and Nicole are related. Explain well, that one. Or are you kind of backing off that? I, I really, really don't. I, I, I'm on two different highways, and they're if you think about them at the same time, they're kind of gross. So try to switch your mind into two places. I either want them to be siblings or lovers. Not both. Don't worry. I'm not from that kind of part of the country. <laughs> um, if they go with the lover route, I would prefer that because I think those two could be really cute together. I think that could be really interesting must-see TV. But if for some reason they don't allow that to happen, I'm telling you that Rafe, his father is some bad person and Nicole's father is Latino, and he's a bad guy, too. Wouldn't it just be interesting if he was the same bad guy? I know they have a different last name, but, I mean, that's not exactly unheard of. Okay, it's a bit of a stretch. I hope they're lovers instead of... I think a lot of people do. Are you suggesting my theories are stupid today? No, not stupid. Have you lost your mind? Oh, we were at Walmart yesterday. That's and Roman. Some little <laughs> girl wanted something, and her mother's like, I'm not buying that stupid thing, and I thought, God. Okay. <laughs> all right, why did we not cover? Nathan and Melanie are back working together. Yeah. Oh, Melanie is all like, you know, in the chokehold by the druggie. Oh, yeah, in the, in the previews. It, you know, we watched this a day ahead via the Canadian channel, and uh, they put the credits up there at the end of the show, and it said, Sketchy, Sketchy Guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Philip not too happy about the working arrangements. No, I wouldn't think... I know. Would you want me working with some guy that I, you know, every chance I get, would she done you with? Wouldn't she be working with him at the other hospital? Yeah, but they're all alone in this hospital. Um, Private. You know, do what he and clinic. Chloe did. Yeah. I'm like, listen, buddy, you cheated and may have fathered a baby. Let her flirt a little at work. You know, be get gracious. a little oral or something. <gasps> Sing <Singy> baby. <laughs> God, you're taking the show to a whole new rating level. God. Well, she does like to make out with guys randomly. 
Oh, I th- okay, that's what you meant by it. You meant making out. No, I didn't. Oh. I was just trying to save it. <laughs> Honey, they're like kids. I can't think There's about no that. There's no kids watching this. No, I think okay. of Molly and Mark. As She's kids. married. <laughs> She's got a sex tape out on the internet. Don't tell me you didn't try to find it. <laughs> you think I was a kind of weirdo? <laughs> All right, we better wrap this up. Maybe I need to go fight. Fight? About what? I don't know. We, we usually come up with something, don't okay. we? <laughs> so, loving this Canadian broadcast. Yeah, yeah. I hope she keeps up with it. We'll post it for you, too, for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> All right, the couple that watches stays together. Stays together.